Hello, everyone. Welcome to another Van Hack podcast. I'm Ilya, and I'm here today with Josh uh, from Voltoro. He's going to talk about uh, the, the company, the developers he's looking for, and also talk all about blockchain and how you can get involved in this exciting new trend and really take your career to the next level. So hi, Josh. Good to have you here. Hey, good day, Ilya. Nice to be on your show, man. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we have uh, you know, potentially hundreds of, of software engineers from around the world watching. And, um, you know, maybe for them, you could explain a little bit about you, your, your background, maybe a little bit there, and then also Voltoro. Uh, yep. And then we'll get into the, the challenges that you guys are looking to solve. Yeah, so a um, little bit about me. I uh, really loved alternative economies for a long, long time and understanding economics uh, outside of the standard, like where does money come from? What is money? Uh, at, you know, and... Um, you know, is it just something that your boss gives you or, you know, I wanted to dive deeper. What, what is it? Is it an asset? Is it a debt? How does that even work? What is debt based money and all this sort of stuff really fascinated me. And so, um, and I started the world's first swap site back in the um, early, like 2000. And, um, and it wasn't, uh, you know, it was for swapping uh, women's clothing. And I realized that there was a lot of things wrong with, just swapping, it didn't really work. It, you know, if you have a t-shirt that I really like, but you, I have nothing you like, then the deal falls through. And that's unfortunate um, when, when there's not that liquidity. And um, so I was thinking, ah, how can we make a digital token that works and, and all this stuff? And I was always fascinated with it, but I uh, knew there was laws against creating private money. And I was then got fascinated with decentralized money and stuff like that. And um, and uh, then uh, years later, um, Satoshi Nakamoto uh, came out with his white paper, and I was like, "Whoa, that's awesome! You know, this is uh, this is decentralized money for you know." And that was Bitcoin. And so I fell down that rabbit hole, and just been um, working with it for a long time, and and uh, trying to understand it. And um, and we uh, built then Voltoro to to trade between true assets. So. Um, gold, physical gold and Bitcoin. So people can, instead of going back to fiat, back to debt, and the whole reason we got into Bitcoin was to get away from uh, debt-based money, from fiat currencies. Um, and I wanted a way to keep that value in, in an asset-based economy, a true allocated asset base. So, um, uh, yeah, and that was after Mt. Gox happened. So Mt. Gox happened, which was this big exchange that went bust. And, mm -hmm. and uh, we just, yeah, we, we had to... Um, and sit down and I really wanted to change how um, how exchanges work. So I wanted to have ultimate transparency on exchanges because I lost a lot of money in Mt. Cox, right? So I was like, this sucks, you know? And, and it wasn't just me. It was like the whole the whole ecosystem was suffering from this these collapses. And it wasn't just Mt. Cox. My, my Bitcoin and all these other uh, online services were just non-transparent. Mm -hmm. And... Um, and for this evolution, this revolution to happen in finance, we needed more transparency, more self-regulation. And uh, yeah, so we built Voltoro um, on the basis of being ultimately transparent because the mm -hmm. blockchain is totally transparent. And, mm -hmm. um, and also um, uh, where the counter asset is allocated gold, it's, it's allocated to the user uh, mm -hmm. for, uh, you know, as, their, as their property, as their legal property in their name so it's off of our books so if anything happens to us and you know startups fail so you don't want to trust a startup with your money but if it's an allocated asset like gold then it's we do the trade for you then it's your gold in the vault that's sitting there in this mm -hmm. top tier vaulting facility in switzerland and um and so that 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 took off and now it's trading and uh, we we've, we've got um um uh, 500 uh, kilos of gold now in, in the vaults wow. uh, what our users do and um, yeah it's awesome and uh, and they're they're trading back and forth if bitcoin's up they they um, they buy gold and if bitcoin drops again like it is right now they buy <coughs> bitcoin back mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. very cool very cool so uh, it seems like the, you know, the company's doing well you, you definitely have a lot of experience um, let's maybe like who, who are you looking for now to join the team like what kind of skills are, are really needed uh, and, and kind of who can add, add value to, to you and then, you know, who, who would you like to hire and, and why should they come work with you? 
Well, um, like right now we're kind of looking for someone just to do some R and D for us, uh, on certain technologies. So especially when it comes to, um, um, can you still hear me? I've yes. got a message yep. saying my internet's, um, uh, so, um, yeah, we're looking for someone that, uh, can do some R and D for us on lightning channels, uh, and stuff like that. So multi-sig and, and just, um, uh, yeah, learn about this stuff because I, I feel that also it's a great opportunity for developers, even if you're interested in this space to, um, to learn about this stuff, uh, because it's having that on your CV is, is, is just a must nowadays. Yeah, I mean, like blockchain technologies or just generally anything with crypto is is we're getting that almost every day requests from companies and some companies say like, I'll hire as many people as you can find. So if you're, you know, a developer now looking to learn new technologies, I think this space is just going to keep growing and growing and growing. Um, and, and I really recommend you you dive into it. Uh, so, so how can someone do that? You know, where would be the first place they start? Let's say, you know, you're a JavaScript developer with a few years experience, you know, some, some libraries, um, you, what, what, what could you do to kind of position yourself to be seen as a blockchain uh, developer? What does that mean? I guess, um, you know, really understand what the blockchain is and the different iterations of blockchains. So the word blockchains is so overused and yeah. over abused and, you know, they, they'll call a database a blockchain just so they can get some um, you know, funding or whatever, whatever it is. But, uh, for instance, you know, Ripple isn't really a blockchain, but they spread around the place that it's a blockchain. But what, uh, you know, what is Bitcoin's blockchain? Truly understand Bitcoin and where they're going with that, um, uh, I would say. But also, you know, there's so many projects around now that need help. Um, so learn, uh, learn, you know, find your favorite coin, buy some. So you, you've got a vested interest and then, you know, try to work on that and figure it out. Very cool. Very cool. So are there any kind of, I don't know, websites where you can take some courses or, you know, read some blog posts or maybe Reddit, um, Slack groups, like what kind of things that, you know, what are some concrete actions people can take uh, to just get, you know, dive deep into the, the ecosystem? Well, I mean, definitely, uh, you know, look at the project and I mean, what, what I tend to do is to evaluate all these tokens. There's so many to tokens and projects at the moment. Um, and, and there will be more and more. Uh, so I tend to look at it like a VC because you're, you're going to invest your time learning this thing. I mean, you'll get, you'll get knowledge about most blockchains if you learn this, unless you choose between a tangle and a blockchain, which I can get into later. But, but just quickly, uh, VC means uh, an investor, a venture capitalist, just for some people who might not know that term, but yeah, please go ahead. Yeah. So venture capitalist. So, I try to look at it like a venture capitalist. Um, they, they invest money, but if, if you're going to look into it, you're investing time, right? Time equals money. So um, if, you, um, if you look at a project, you have a look at, first of all, is it solving a problem? Are they solving a problem? Is it a decentralized exchange, like a DEX, it's called for short? Um, or is it, um, you know, so, something that's needed? It's not bananas on the blockchain or dating on the blockchain or something silly that no one needs, right? And blockchains are interesting because they're decentralized. You have to do something where um, either governments don't like it and they want to shut it down like money. They don't like private money. So that was a reason to have a blockchain. You, you make something that's decentralized. It can't be shut down. Uh, another thing that might be banned in the future is exchanges, right? So, of course, look into exchanges. They're going to take off because decentralized money needs needs decentralized exchanges. Um, I'm doing interesting work. Um, uh, there's, there's, a, there's a heap of them. But uh, what's, you know, there, there's all these sort of categories, maybe decentralized storage. So uh, working on um, systems having a look at IPFS and what they're doing at Filecoin and, uh, or storage, um, or there's a few of them. Um, even, uh, I saw a project the other day, day called vTorrent, which looked really interesting where, um, the, the blockchain pays seeders to seed. Um, so that, that, so the torrent network becomes a stronger network of more, more of a style, uh, you know, where you can really store many files. Cause the problem always with, Tor was uh, sorry with uh, with torrent was 
the, the really popular files like Madonna and stuff would be available because everyone wants them or whatever, some new artist. And, um, but, uh, but some obscure paper wouldn't, you know, there's not enough cedars or you find the thing that there's no one seeding. So this would help cedars. So that would become more of a decentralized Dropbox kind of thing you know, if you could mm -hmm. really do it like that. But so there's all these sort of projects which um, either, either they're, you know, it would get shut down or they're just too many regulations um, uh, or stuff like that. You know, there's, there's, in, there's um, uh, yeah, too much regulation or something like that. And there's, like visas. Um, yeah, like more efficiencies. Yeah, like visas, right? More, yeah, more efficiency. Getting, getting work visas sucks. <laughs> right, and sometimes blockchains can solve these things too. So, um, but uh, yeah, so look at that project. If if that passes that, and you think, yeah, it's it's really solving something that needs to be solved and it needs a blockchain, um, and it doesn't just need an SQL or, or a Mongo or something. Okay, well then I'll, I'll I'll look into it. The second thing then is you just definitely want to have a look at the developers and check them out in the GitHub go through how much are they um, committing and really, you know, start looking at the code, start looking at the repositories there and, um, and partaking and see what, if you like it, uh, see if you, um, you know, and, and participate in the little economy that's the building around that, around mm -hmm. that concept. Very cool. And so what kind of like technical skills like JavaScript or uh, is there a specific programming languages that are more effective than others in this space or is it kind of agnostic and you just you can do these things with whatever the programming language you're efficient at? Man, I, I'm, I, you know, that's where I would have to bow out and, and give it to my seat. <laughs> talk, talk to your brother. <laughs> yeah. uh, but, um, but yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, a lot of JavaScript, of course, um, but uh, people are doing C, uh, C plus plus, and C sharp, and and Python, and all these, yeah, everything pretty right, much. Right, right. It's, it's more language agnostic, but just really understanding the, the concepts behind it, and maybe contributing to, to some open source uh, projects or reading through them, that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, where um, uh, so it, it's 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 always evolving, and it's evolving so quickly. So it's it's definitely good to be a part of this economy as a as a programmer and as a developer. It's great to be paid in crypto too, because you're moving around. If you're a digital nomad and you're traveling around the world, um, you know, you, you when you go to Britain, you you earn pounds. When you go to Europe, you earn euros. But when you earn on the internet, you earn you know crypto. So it's uh, it's just much easier. And if you're uh, and there's always ways to pay stuff nowadays and different credit cards and stuff. So it's definitely um, something that I recommend. And I also recommend giving a discount when getting paid in discount in Bitcoin because um, it, it's like helps other people on board, maybe employers that you go to and you say, hey, you know, I charge this much, but I'll charge a little bit. I'll give you a 10% discount or whatever it is if, if you pay me in crypto. Mm -hmm. Cool. So will this position pay in crypto then if, if they want? What does a position pay? No, will it, will it, this position pay in crypto if you, if, if you know, for the person? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Very cool. Awesome. All right. Is there anything else the, the, the potential candidate should know, um, you know, before we, we kind of wrap things up? Uh, well, sorry. Is, I mean, is there anything else they should know? Um, you know, I mean, it's not a full-time position. It's not a, it's, it, we're, we're just looking for someone to R&D some stuff for us um, uh, at the moment. And uh, and then uh, pay them for that project and um, and see how that goes. But uh, you know, it would be good if they did already have some knowledge of all this stuff and um, uh, and are interested in it. And um, uh, yeah, especially Bitcoin and the um, the uh, Lightning Network. Very cool. So if you're interested in in in, in that, uh, you're looking for kind of a side gig to to earn some some cryptocurrencies, um, and and really more importantly, get some really really good experience with a top tier company. Apply to this job, uh, and, and Josh will will chat with you. So uh, thanks again, Josh, for sharing this, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll talk soon. Cheers.